we've got uh, Muslim Aid against the uh, Muslim Council of Britain. A big cheer for both teams, please. Hands on buzzers, everyone. Which of the obligatory prayers has an odd number of rakahs? Okay, Muslim Aid buzzed first. Guys, what, what are you what, what are you thinking? Maghrib. Say again? Maghrib. Maghrib Salah. Is that the final answer? That's correct. That's correct. Okay, you went with Maghrib. That was the correct answer, everyone. Round of applause. You got that right, so now the round is open to you. Now what you get to do now is to choose the level of difficulty that you'd like to go with. Remember, five is the most points. One are the lowest points. Highest five, lowest one. I need an answer. We go for two. Now you guys get to decide which category they go for. We're going Shahada. Shahada, okay. So we're going with level two in our Shahada category. What are the six articles of Iman? What are the six articles of Iman? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And your time's up. I need an answer, guys. Aman to Billahi wa Malaikati. So that's the angels. Kutubihi, the books. Wa Rasulihi, the prophets. Wal Yawmil Akhiri, life after death. Katrihi, which is. Sorry. So that is. You know. Guys, you're actually, doing, you're actually doing very well, but you are missing something. Fate and also life after death. Okay, you've already said life after death. When you say faith, what are you referring to? Fate. 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 Uh, we said fate. Okay. Unfortunately, I cannot take that as a correct answer. You did do very well. But unfortunately, it wasn't the whole answer. Do you guys want a few seconds to deliberate or? We can deliberate now. Okay, you guys have to decide now. Do you want to go with Allah or do you want to go with Allah? Correct? That is a... Imanu Billah, first of all. The books. The angels. The prophets. Uh, life after death and the destination whether it is uh, khair or shah okay that is the correct answer guys well done round of applause unfortunately you guys did very well but you didn't state belief in Allah unfortunately not unfortunately not no I ask you guys to be specific in what you meant by faith we need to be specific guys I'm really sorry so you guys have got the question right. Well done, guys. They've got 20 points and 10. Okay, now we're going on to our second round. Who was the first person to accept Islam in the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Muslim made buzz first. They're having their conferring time. Can we have a countdown, please? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Okay, so what are we going with? It was his wife Khadija radiallahu. That is the correct answer. It was his wife Khadija radiallahu. Okay, so that now entitles you to uh, your question. What level of difficulty are we going with, guys? We're going to go for three. We're going to go for three. And what category should they choose? My colleagues say that they should talk about Hajj, please. They should talk about Hajj. Okay, and they're going for a level... Three questions. Remember, this is 30 points available. The question is, which companion led the pilgrims in Hajj during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Which companion led the pilgrims in Hajj during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, what are we going with, guys? with Abu Bakr as Siddiq. That is the correct answer! Well done. 50 points here, 20 points here. This is the last round. I think it's safe to say if you guys win this one, then it's yours. Our question. 
buzzers, please. What is the literal meaning of the Arabic word zakah? I think they they lit up first. Okay, so what is the literal meaning of the Arabic word zakah? What are we going with, guys? We'll give it to the Arab. How that? Purify your wealth. Purify your wealth. That is the correct answer. Purification. Okay, so that now opens you up to your question. Now you need to choose your level. How difficult would you like your level to be? I, I think we'll go with three. And if we win, we win, inshallah. Uh, what are we going with? We'll go for Iman. You're going to go with Iman. Uh, so we're going with level three. According to a famous hadith, what three qualities does a Muslim need to taste the sweetness of faith? All right, count down everyone. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, guys, this is to win. Uh, we have confirmed and we think it's uh, speaking the truth, being trustworthy and also being patient. Unfortunately, that's uh, incorrect. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. Oh God, so it's gone over to Muslim Aid. So uh, as we know, if they, if they get this right, then they win. What are we going with? We're going with purity of intention, truthfulness, and haya. Okay, repeat that for me, please. Purity of intentions, haya, and truthfulness. Okay, unfortunately, all three are not uh, entirely correct. Uh, the actual answer is, number one, to love Allah and his messenger more than anything else. The second one, to love people only for the sake of Allah. And number three, to hate to return to disbelief like how you hate to enter a fire. Your winners are Muslim AIDS. And please round of applause for MCB for taking part.